The difference between a video getting a thousand views and a million views often comes down to just 30 seconds of work. The 30 seconds it takes to create the perfect thumbnail using AI. But the problem is that 90% of creators using AI thumbnail tools are actually making their click-through rates worse. They're falling into three critical traps that I'm going to express in this video. I've been studying YouTube success for over a decade and I've discovered something that's gonna change how you think about thumbnails forever. There's a tool that's been quietly revolutionizing how top creators design their thumbnails and most people are using it completely wrong. I'm gonna show you how I took this client's channel from an average CTR of 4.5% to 6.3% in one video and when getting millions of impressions, 2% increase is a huge compounding effect. With 6 million impressions and 2% increase in CTR, that's an extra 108,000 views. Here's what most creators don't understand. Your thumbnail isn't just a pretty picture. It's a psychological trigger. And there's now an AI tool called Pixels that can hack viewer psychology in ways that could have taken professional designers hours to achieve. I'll leave a link in the description to where you can get some free credits and test it out for yourself. But let me give you something actionable right now so that you can try these tricks with some free credits by using my link in the description. The biggest mistake I see creators make with AI thumbnails is using generic prompts like gaming thumbnail or fitness video instead of this formula. Education plus specific action plus visual style plus lighting. For example, shocked person holding broken phone, cinematic style, dramatic red lighting. This single change can double your thumbnail quality immediately. Speaking of doubling your results, if you want to transform your entire YouTube strategy, not just your thumbnails, I've created the YouTube Growth Accelerator program. I've helped clients go from $0 to $4,000 per month in as little as two weeks. And I've helped others scale from 5,000 to 17 or even 20,000 per month in just three to four months. The link is in the description below and I'll tell you more about how it can get you monetized in 90 days later on in the video. But first, let me show you exactly how you can master every aspect of pixels so that your thumbnails can get better. Because your thumbnail is like your window to your shop. If no one clicks, you don't get views and everything else is a waste of time. There's a specific psychological principle that Pixels exploits, something called the curiosity gap. And by the end of this section, you'll know exactly how to weaponize it. Pixels isn't just another AI tool, which is partly why I love it. They focus on creating thumbnails that stop the scroll. But here's what makes it different from tools like Midjourney or Dolly. I found that even next to ChatGPT5, it still recreates my face more accurately and more consistently than any other AI. It's also been created by David, a YouTube guru and strategist who has many channels of his own, so he understands the psychology of the click. And this philosophy is transferred into the pixel generation. I remember when I first discovered pixels, I was helping a client whose airplane documentary channel was struggling to get views. His most popular video had 27,000 views at the time. We spent some time on a lot of strategies, but the biggest one was working on his thumbnails using the strategies I'm about to show you in this video. The very next video blew up to almost 600,000 views in just a few days. And his other videos started to gain more views as a result. So the video with 27,000 views was even less before this viral video. Check this out. This is the power of a good intro. This video went from 2,500 views to 15,000 with a good intro. And I'll show you how to do that in the future video. So subscribe for that. This video was flatlining before using the strategy. And this change happened after the video was uploaded. Now, I can't promise you'll go viral without my one-on-one -on -one support using these strategies because that would be irresponsible. But I can show you that one of the exact systems I've used will get you some results. And here's one particular feature in Pixels that was a game changer for me. I'll reveal it in a second, but first, it's important to understand that Pixels operates on a credit system, and this is where most people waste money. Here's the breakdown. Thumbnail generations cost 10 credits, face swaps cost five credits, title generations cost three credits, custom style training costs 50 credits, and custom persona training costs 200 credits. And I'll show you what all this means later. But knowing the cost isn't enough. There's a specific order you need to use these features in, and if you get it wrong, you'll burn through credits faster than I used to burn through sponsorship deals when I first started YouTube in 2013. So I'm gonna show you a hidden workflow that most Pixel users don't know exists. 
It's hidden in plain sight, and it can cut your thumbnail creation time by 75%. First, let's talk about the elephant in the room, the free trial. Most platforms have a free trial of some kind, but most people say that it's almost useless. You get five thumbnails with a massive watermark. Don't waste your time. Here's how you should do it instead. First, start with the essential plan, which is 20 bucks per month. But here's the key. Always choose the annual auction with credit rollover. This gives you flexibility and ensures you never lose credits if you don't use them all up in one month. And if you use the link in my description, you get an extra few credits as well, so you can still test it out. When signing up, just like you do with any other site, remember that you can create your own persona. And this means that when you create thumbnails, you can select your face to be in the thumbnail and it'll create your face in the thumbnail, which is crazy. Even ChatGPT5 can't do it this accurately and this consistently. You can also train a custom style to your brand. So based on the thumbnails on your YouTube channel, you can create a style so that your outputs can look a lot like your other thumbnails. Now this is all assuming you have good thumbnails. So don't do this if you don't like your thumbnails or if they just aren't good and not getting any views. What I've done in the past is actually take inspiration from other YouTube channels that have great thumbnails. For example, Fern here, I just told it to essentially mimic Fern's YouTube thumbnails and now I can create great thumbnails like them. Now, most people start generating from random thumbnails, which is a big mistake. By setting up your persona and style first, every subject thumbnail will be on brand and recognizable. But the real magic happens when you combine your custom persona with a feature called inspiration. This is where we get into the psychology of viral thumbnails, and I'm about to show you how to legally steal from what most successful YouTube creators do. Now, speaking of AI thumbnail tools and ethics, I need to address something really quick. You probably heard about the Mr. Beast and Chucky View stats situation where they launched an AI thumbnail tool with ViewStats Pro and then removed it after the community backlash. Here's my honest opinion. I think they made a mistake by caving to the pressure and I'll tell you why. The tool they created was actually designed to help creators, especially smaller ones who can't afford expensive thumbnail designers. But the community reaction focused on the wrong things and they called it stealing, when really it should be viewed as inspiration, just like how Canva, Photoshop templates and other design tools work. Look. AI is changing everything whether we like it or not. The thumbnail designers who are going to survive are the ones who use and embrace AI as a tool to complete their work, not the ones who complain about its replacing them. The real professionals will use AI to streamline their ideation process and create even better work faster. What Mr. Beast and Chucky should have done was to educate people on how to use the tool ethically as inspiration, not direct copying. You can take elements that work, you understand the psychology behind successful thumbnails, and you create something new and unique for your brand. That's exactly what we do with Pixels. And it's what I teach in my YouTube Growth Accelerator program. It's important to know that you're not trying to steal people's work and make it your own. You're trying to use it as inspiration to influence your output because you're taking elements that are already working and applying that to your video idea. This is why I believe tools like Pixels are so important. There's one Pixels feature that can increase your click-through rate and unfortunately, most creators completely ignore it. Everyone knows you can type a prompt and get a thumbnail, but here's what separates amateurs from professionals. Instead of gaming thumbnail, use intense gamer with glowing eyes, holding controller, dark room with RGB lighting, cinematic composition, high contrast. There's a three layer approach. So the subject layer, who and what is the focus, environment layer, where is this happening, emotional layer, what feeling should this invoke? Now this next technique is so powerful that some creators have built entire channels around it, but there's a right and a wrong way to use this inspiration and the wrong way can get you in trouble. The inspiration feature lets you input any YouTube video URL and replace its thumbnail style. But here's the strategic approach. Find thumbnails with high view to subscriber ratios. Generally, you wanna have a five to one or higher ratio. Analyze what makes them work psychologically. Use pixels to adapt the style, not copy it. So there have been countless situations where I've found a video over 500,000 views and less than 100,000 subscribers, and I take the core of that idea and make my own video and thumbnail. Use these ideas as inspiration because you're not copying them. Your face on your thumbnails can increase your click-through rates by 150%. People connect with the eyes. They make a personal connection with you but there's a specific way to use that where most creators miss. Upload 10 to 15 photos of yourself in different lighting conditions and angles. 
This creates a robust AI model that can replace your face naturally in any scenario. And this is what you do when you are creating your persona. And here's a pro tip. You can train multiple personas, one for serious content, one for exaggerated content, one for excited content, one for confused expressions. This gives you an emotional range in your thumbnails. But remember, this does cost credits to create a persona. Now, there's also a title structure that's been proven to increase click-through rates by 67% and pixels can generate it automatically. But you need to know what the trigger words are that you use. I do also have a format and structure because there's a lot of patterns on YouTube in my YouTube Growth Accelerator. So if you want to learn about how to find these patterns on YouTube, that link is in the description. But the AI title generator isn't just for creating titles. It's about understanding psychological triggers. There are five title types that work. The first one is the curiosity gap. So for example, the YouTube algorithm change nobody's talking about. The second one is a negative angle. Why your thumbnails are killing your channel. Then you can talk about specific numbers. So there are seven thumbnail mistakes costing you 10,000 views. The fourth one is personal stakes. So for example, I spent $5,000 on thumbnails so you don't have to. And the fifth one is controversy. So for example, thumbnails are more important than content. Prove me wrong. All of these generate a particular type of emotion and you can learn more about what this looks like in my YouTube Growth Accelerator program. Now I'm about to reveal the biggest pixels mistake that's costing most creators thousands of dollars in wasted credits. Even experienced users fall into this trap. So here's how you can optimize your credit system. Here's what most people don't understand. Pixels isn't just about getting one perfect thumbnail. It's about getting multiple variations and testing them. I call this the 3 2, one method. So generate three completely different concepts. Pick the best two and create variations. Test the final one against their current thumbnail. But there's a credit management strategy that I use. So don't generate more than five thumbnails without testing it. Don't overdo it. The editing feature is actually quite powerful, especially when you want to change text or maybe just the output didn't get something right. You can highlight it, tell it what you want it to change and it'll change it. And also always use the redo function before making major edits. Sometimes you can even combine different parts of thumbnails with like Photoshop or Canva so that you can get a more unique approach. And sometimes multiple outputs give you what you want, just not in the same thumbnail so you can combine those. Now, AI can be inconsistent with character details. So here's a solution. Use your trained persona to make incremental edits. Complex prompts often produce worse results. Keep it simple and build complexity through editing. As AI tools become more popular, thumbnails are gonna start looking similar. So combat this with unique custom styles and specific brand elements. There have been many times where pixels won't get it right. And even with the amount of edits I've suggested, it sometimes can't tweak things like I wanted it to. But even with some basic skills in Photoshop or Canva, you can take this to the next level. Remember, you can message staff in Discord and get some credits back if you just for some reason have spent so many credits trying to make a change and it just won't get it right. So you do have that option available. But let me show you how I use a hybrid approach with Pixels and Photoshop. And you can apply this to any other photo app that you might use. So I use Pixels as my creative foundation, but I never stopped there. For thumbnail one, I created a prompt in Pixels using my trained persona to generate an image of myself holding a phone in each hand up to the camera. Pixels delivered a solid result, but I knew I couldn't handle specific tasks of adding actual images into the phone screens. That's where Photoshop becomes essential. I took the Pixels generated base into Photoshop and added the critical details that make the thumbnail work. Custom text overlays and red and green icons for visual contrast. Most importantly, I imported the actual Stormtrooper images to demonstrate the 16 by 9 to 9 by 16 aspect ratio transformation concept that I was teaching by using Google's VEO3. This was a tutorial where I showed people how to turn their landscape content into portrait. And for thumbnail number two, I did a similar approach and it worked out really well. For thumbnail three, I followed the same process and used pixels to create the foundation shot of me sitting at a desk, looking towards the camera with open hands. When pixels couldn't generate a convincing laptop screen in front of me, I repositioned the laptop in Photoshop to be closer to my face, added actual YouTube viewers statistics on the screen and included curiosity building elements. Pixels consistently gets me about 90% of the way there with the core composition and lighting. But those final Photoshop touches, the specific text, real screenshots, strategic repositioning and brand elements are what transform a good AI thumbnail into a scroll stopping click worthy masterpiece. I'm not using pixels as a crutch. I'm using it as a powerful starting point 
that saves hours of initial design work while still maintaining complete creative control over the final result, all with simple design skills. You don't need to be a master at Photoshop to do this. You can even use simple tools like Canva instead. Thumbnails are just one piece of the YouTube success pie. If you want to build a channel that generates real income, you need a complete system. That's exactly what I've provided in my YouTube Growth Accelerator program. I've condensed over 10 years of YouTube experience into a step-by-step -step system that's helped hundreds of creators get monetized in 90 days or less, scale from zero to 5,000 per month, build sustainable long-term YouTube businesses, and so much more. The program includes everything, content strategy, audience psychology, monetization methods, and yes, advanced thumbnail strategies that go far beyond what any AI tool can provide and much more than what's covered in this video. The link is down in the description below. Click it now because I'm only accepting a limited number of students this month and spots are filling up fast. Remember, the difference between a successful YouTube channel and one that struggles isn't talent or luck. It's having the right system and knowing how to strategically approach a topic. Pixels can create amazing thumbnails, but only a complete strategy can create a thriving business. Your YouTube empire starts with a single click. If you don't design it well, you'll lose out on a lot of views. I've mentioned Google VEO3 and its powerful AI tool to help you create entire videos with AI. It looks really convincing if you know what you need to do. And I created a masterclass on how to use it and how to get the best results at the cheapest price. Check out the video on screen and after watching it, you will be able to create awesome and accurate B-roll shots for your videos. So you don't have to go film it yourself or use the generic cheesy B-roll that is online these days. Hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to leave a like and I'll see you over there.